Welcome to the Hancock's Pegas Craft Tap Training. This unit is designed to be able to pour five beers through one single tap. This gives it an advantage over other taps available on the market. Now I'll run you through how to fill your growler. Firstly, take the growler, open the door and place the growler inside the Pegas unit. When placing the growler inside, because of varying sizes, you may need to adjust the level that the growler sits at. To do this, turn the tap at the bottom. Once you have reached the required height, take the handle at the side and pull up. Ensure when you're raising the growler that the opening is covering the tap nozzle at the top. Also, make sure that the growler will not move. Close the door. Now select the beer your customer is wishing to purchase. Turn the beer select nozzle up. This now opens the beer lines for the desired beer. Before filling, the growler with beer, we must prime the growler with CO2. To do this, we push the handle back. Depending on the size of the growler will depend on how long you need to prime the growler for. For two and a half litres, that's about seven to eight seconds. Once ready, pull the black handle forward to start pouring the beer. You will see the beer slowly run down the sides of the growler. The growler will fill to almost halfway until it reaches a balance with the CO2. Once the beer flow slows to almost a stop, use a small silver handle on the side of the growler to slowly release the CO2 in the bottle. This will allow beer to flow into your growler once again. As you do this, you will hear CO2 run through the waste valve at the top of the unit. Make sure not to fully open or you will release the beer too quickly and the growler will foam. As the growler fills, you will notice that no head or very little head will be forming on the beer. Do not be alarmed, the beer is not flat. This is the CO2 doing its job and stopping the beer from foaming. With the PS unit, we hope to achieve zero waste. You will achieve this so long as staff follow the correct filling procedures. As the beer reaches the top of the growler, turn the beer handle back, which stops flow of the beer. We now need to release the remainder of the CO2 in the bottle. Taking the silver handle, slowly pull this forward to release the remaining CO2. As you do this, you will see a head be created on top of the beer. Once this is fully open, the beer is now ready to be taken out. You need to switch everything off before removing the growler. Turn the CO2 release valve off and turn the beer flow off. Now we can drop the growler. At this stage, you will notice a small amount of head on top of your beer. This head will turn into CO2 and thus preserve the tap beer for up to a week for your customers. Another advantage with the growler is it's environmentally friendly, no glass going to tips. Now the growler is ready to take home and enjoy.